Kansas has set up a new single sign-on, or SSO, system to facilitate a more seamless experience between various online services, eliminating the need to sign in repeatedly during a single browser session. When visiting the customer portal at support.ansys.com, you will be presented with this new login screen if you are not currently signed in. Use the sign up or sign in option to access your customer portal account. If you have been provided temporary access in relation to a software trial, use the I have a guest account option. See the latter portions of this video for a demonstration of this access. Let's see the steps to access the customer portal via SSO for the first time if you are an existing ANSYS customer by using the sign up or sign in option. Enter your email address to begin. This should be your corporate or institution email address which can be associated with your company's ANSYS licenses. If this is the first time that you are accessing the ANSYS SSO system, you will have to register in that system. You should use the same email as which you had previously used to access the customer portal. During this first time registration, you will be asked to verify this email address with a code that will be sent to you. This is a one-time step which will only need to be performed upon initial registration. Once your email is confirmed, you can move to the next step. Add your name, set a password, review terms and conditions and privacy notice, and subscribe to updates from ANSYS. Note the password requirements shown on the screen. For the added security of your account, ANSYS now uses two-factor authentication. Enter your phone number to receive an authentication code through SMS or voice call. This phone number is only used for authentication purposes. Enter the code which you received through your phone. Note if you selected the call me option, you will receive a phone call instead. Just follow the instructions. After a successful account setup, users of the customer portal will be directed to either ansys.com or the customer portal. If this is your first time accessing the customer portal, after the SSO account setup, you will have to complete additional information to associate your login to your customer account. Please see the help links at the bottom of the customer portal registration page for assistance on this step. You have to set a separate password for accessing the Siebel ePortal for creating and managing service requests. For ease of use, it is recommended that you use the same password as the one you set in the SSO account setup. You are now returned to the sign in page to sign in with your new account. If you have not been able to successfully complete these steps or are having problems getting signed on, please contact us at ansys community help at ansys.com. Finally, if you have been provided temporary access in relation to a software trial, use the I have a guest account option. In details provided by ANSYS, you should find a temporary username and password which you can use to access the customer portal.